What is up, y'all? Thanks for clicking on this video. You have officially entered the Ski's Life. Today, we're going to talk about how expensive the ketogenic lifestyle is. You want to come up here? Can you come up here? Alright, so again, thanks for clicking on this video. While you're here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell for us. And let's get into today's topic. Today we're going to talk about how expensive the ketogenic lifestyle is. But here's the thing, it's really not. It's not. Like, it, and I understand that it's one thing for me to say that and another thing for you to believe that. But the reason I want to, what? The reason I want to address this today is um, because I've, received several messages, seen several, a uh, couple of different comments on our videos. I think there's like one, maybe two. And some of our friends and family have made this comment that keto is so expensive. Okay, so here's the thing. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Hold on, let me get comfortable. I've said it before and I'll say it again, that there is no such thing as the one answer for all. And that applies to everything. There, including nutrition, there is no one nutritional lifestyle for all of us. Because if that were true, then I could follow the standard American diet as prescribed by the USDA and I would not have been fat. I could burn carbohydrates, I could burn glucose and not weigh 205 pounds that's another video. If you want to see that video, I'll try to leave a card up here for you. So there is no one, no one, no such thing as one single nutritional lifestyle for everybody. So some of these people that are making this comment, I understand it. They're looking at you know just the surface information of keto, and to them, on the surface, it looks ex expensive. And I will admit that on the surface, it does look expensive. And I know this because my shopping, planning, and budgeting habits from last October when Scott started the ketogenic diet and last January when I started the ketogenic lifestyle um, have not changed. Do, do you want to smell? Like, I don't care that we burn ketones rather than glucose and eat fat rather than carbs. I still shop at Aldi's. I still shop at Walmart. I take my sale ads into Walmart and get price matches. I will go plan my shopping route for the best use of fuel so that I'm not wasting more fuel just to save a couple of cents at another store. Now, I actually, like, there is there is a science to that. I, got, I uh, learned a lot of it from my mother-in-law, from Scott's mom. And so, yeah, I have heard a thing for that. But I don't care what our nutritional lifestyle is. Coupons, Ibotta, the crazy coupon lady, and sale ads are still my best friend. And so is our budget, which has not changed. The number put beside our grocery budget last October to after starting the ketogenic lifestyle has not changed. We did not add more money to our groceries, to our grocery budget, to be able to afford this nutritional lifestyle. We said, you know what, we have, yeah, we're going to go on a diet. And at the time, yes, it was temporary. Um, but we said, okay, we still have to stick within our budget, and that's what we've done. But the reason keto seems so expensive on the surface, and the reason it seems, you know, this seems to be true for these people, you say, well, keto is so expensive. Um, is because, like I said, it looks expensive on the surface. Like if you, the, there are certain things that cost more. Like a bag of almond flour costs more than a bag of wheat flour, um, or a bag of cornmeal. Coconut flour costs more than a bag of cornmeal or white flour, but it's cheaper than almond flour. PB powder, something that we eat a lot, uh, quite a bit of, is. Um, you know, it, it looks like an unnecessary expense, you know, just at being added into the grocery budget. Uh, coconut oil looks like an unnecessary expense being added into the grocery budget. But those things aren't being added into an already existing grocery budget. They're replacing the nutritional life. They're replacing the other food items in our nutritional lifestyle. So we'll make things like fat bombs, um, cocoa powder, PB powder, 
little bit of stevia and coconut oil to use as a binder and we eat those rather than the way that other people eat chocolate bars or the way that other people eat candy bars or snacks or bags of chips or this or that. I don't know what y'all eat. That's, uh, candy bars have never really been my thing. Sweet has never really been my thing until I started keto. That's a whole other topic, but that's just something to keep in mind. These things are replacing other other foods. So then the other thing to consider is that, yes, almond flour may be more expensive than wheat flour or cornmeal, uh, but the portions are smaller. We eat less. We eat less of it. Um, to make a pizza, it's our pizza recipe is three quarters cup of almond flour. How much flour, white flour, wheat flour is in a is in a crust of pizza? How much does it cost to buy a pre-made crust from the grocery store? How much does it cost to buy a pizza from like Papa John's? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Papa John's. Scott and I have always been big fans of Papa John's, but with keto, we don't eat pizza. Not like that. There are some really expensive keto recipes out there. But there are some really expensive recipes out there, period. Okay? No matter the nutritional lifestyle, it, what it comes down to is shopping, planning, and budgeting. I mean, so, yeah, the initial cost of switching nutritional lifestyles can be expensive, especially if you're throwing out the cornmeal and the flour, replacing it with almond flour and coconut flour. And it... So it can be expensive to start with, but looking at how much we eat and how much we spend, it's actually, at the very least, it's comparable. It's not, I'm not going to sit here and say that it's cheaper than the standard American diet, but it is certainly not any more expensive. And the, uh, the other thing, the other thing that I want to like talk about, um, I think the other reason why keto seems so expensive on the surface is that we have all of these amazing YouTubers and all of these people who know a lot about the ketogenic lifestyle and they know what they're talking about and they put out some great information and some top quality videos for all of us, but they kind of push this idea that to live a successful ketogenic lifestyle, you have to spend $40 on the bottle of the right uh, kind of potassium because Yes, we do have to supplement our electrolytes because we have to supplement our electrolytes. Or you have to spend $12 on a box of, on a little box of bone broth. And that to me is ridiculous. Um, yeah, I can see where collagen could be helpful. And I understand that we have to supplement our electrolytes um, with our current diet, which Scott and I do. Magnesium and potassium. Um, but we buy those from Walmart. Um, there is no reason to spend $12 on a box of organic bone broth if you can't afford that. I buy our bone broth, no joke, from Aldi's. It's the same price as our chicken stock and their vegetable broth. Same price. I kid you not. I mean, it's on a different aisle in some stores, <coughs> but it's the same price. So... So yeah, um, so then they ha they share these ideas that in order to be successfully ketogenic, you have to spend all this money on all these different supplements. That's not a ketogenic lifestyle thing. The ketogenic diet is so named because we burn ketones rather than glucose as a fuel source. Um, you don't know, get in there. <laughs> Um, not because we only eat all organic, pasture, grass-fed, this, that, and the other. Don't get me wrong. Those are great. And when I can afford pastured chicken and eggs and pastured cow and, and um, top quality, this, that, and the other, then, yeah, I do. do. I do. Because eating meat and animal products that are responsibly grown and resourced is just better for the human body, is, is just better for me, and it's just better for my peace of mind and my conscience 
and for the environment, it's better all around. But it's very simple. Those price points aren't built into our budget. So we're not going to kill ourselves trying to do that. It is Yes, you can watch all these different YouTubers and say, only buy grass-fed this and pastured that, and that's all good. And I actually touched on this in our proteins video about the quality of meats, of pastured meats. And yes, I will buy higher quality when I can, but only when I can. It's not... I'm not going to allow us to starve or allow us to go off of our nutritional lifestyle and eat junk food just because we run out of money. So that's not going to happen. So no, is keto expensive? No, keto is not that expensive. It's per serving and per meal, the price point is comparable to the you know standard American diet. And I've said it, and it's one thing for me to say it, and it's another thing for you to believe it. So, rather than sharing all of my financial information, which I'm not comfortable with that level of personal with, I'm sorry guys, I'm just not. Um, what I've done is I've put together a couple of recipes for you to watch. One is crock pot chicken, the other is fish cakes, and the third is our pizza night, which we actually turn into a group event. Um, yeah, the pizza is a little bit more expensive than the other two. It's actually more expensive than most of the recipes that I make, come to find out. But that's okay because that's something that we do with our friends. That's something we do with our family. That's something that we've turned into a, a family vet night. So, and I'll get into that in another video. My voice is actually going out right now. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Um... And thanks again for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe and ring that notifications bell. And as we end this video, I'm going to put the card here for you to follow along to the next video, which is a crock pot chicken, that recipe that I told you about. Alright guys, we'll see you there. Thanks. Bye.